That's a good thing. Um, obviously, if this continues all the way through until the uh, uh, qualification deadline, then it's going to open it up to uh, all voters of Okaloosa County. They'll be able to, to vote in this election, both the independents uh, and many going through the voter rolls. We've seen Republicans that have uh, changed party affiliation to uh, independents uh, on the voter rolls here. So, anyway, a little bit about me, and I'm going to open it up to some questions uh, as well. So, I'm going to speak very briefly. I don't need a lot of time to talk uh, because. Obviously, many of you don't know me, and that's intentional. I've been flying below the radar when I moved down here in the late 90s and have continued to do so. In fact, flying so far below the radar that you may have remembered a news story back in 2003 when an airplane landed on Highway 20 over in uh, Blue Water Bay. Well, I was in that airplane. Um, so anyway, needless to say, um, it has been intentional. But uh, behind the scenes, early on in my professional career back in uh, the 90s, I've always worked with the Young Republican Committees to, uh, to help bring forth good candidates and help get them elected in the Republican Party. Being from Montgomery, Alabama, that is absolutely like living in the middle of Tallahassee. Everything's a political arena. So uh, we work very diligently, and I'm actually very glad to know that we worked and were part of taking an unknown U.S. attorney by the name of uh, um, Jeff Sessions, almost said Jeff Miller. But uh, anyway, that's now looking down here. But, uh, but we took Jeff Sessions from an unknown individual in the U.S. Attorney's Office. We took him to the Office of uh, Attorney General for the State of Alabama, and then before the expiration of his first term, took him to Congress. And uh, you guys as Republicans know the fight that he's taking uh, up there, and he's serving uh, the people of uh, the Republican Party very well. In short order, uh, you wonder, okay, well, what's your background? And I'm going to make it real simple in law enforcement. Zero. 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 I'm a citizen just like you. And so I have sat and seen the corruption in law enforcement. We you know, heard Mr. Mitchell talk about working within agencies where he's had to take down corruption. At some point in time, the citizens are going to have to understand that it is their job and it is their duty under the Florida Constitution, Article 1. Anybody familiar with Article 1, Declaration of Rights? Anybody read that? Article 1. Section number one says that the power is in the people, and that's granted you in your Florida Constitution. So, if we then take and say, well, what is someone without law enforcement background doing running for sheriff of Okaloosa County? Let's drop down to section number seven of Article One that says, what's the title of it? Declaration of Rights. Well, one of the Declaration of Rights is section seven, and it's one sentence. See, if anybody can, can repeat this with me, because let's try to. Military power shall be subordinate to civil. Let's all repeat that out loud. Military power shall be subordinate to civil. Very simply, law enforcement as your elected position of sheriff of every county of Okaloosa County was never intended to be someone from law enforcement. It was intended to be a civilian. It was intended to be your neighbor. It was intended to be a parent, a father, someone from your community who would be the safeguard from out of control mm -hmm. law enforcement. Military power in the Constitution is also stating that as police power. So in short order, let's kind of look at that in the context. And that then opens up the opportunity for someone like me who recalls Ronald Reagan who said it best. He declared on all Americans and all of you were living at that time, if not us who, and if not now, when? You all know that. At what point does this county wake up and say, somebody, somebody, and now? If you want to look at the candidates in the election here, we've got three awesome candidates. They would be great in the operational standpoint. But for this position, you need somebody who has ethics and character. I've been professionally licensed my entire adult career. I was the youngest licensed real estate broker ever in the state of Alabama. At age 20, instead of going to college, I bought a horse farm and a cattle operation. So, so this may be my uniform for business, but uh, make no mistake about it. I'm a, a jeans and boots kind of guy. And, uh, but early on in my career, I was tasked to teach ethics and to teach professional standards. There's a reason for that. They knew that was in my core. And I did that for about 17 years. Throughout my career, I've also been licensed in finance and construction, as well as uh, uh, management. So all of these professional licenses that I've obtained all require background checks. I've never been convicted of a crime in my life. And what you may not know is that I only have an eighth grade education. So 
my education was not going to be achieved through the Montgomery County Public School System. I realized that early on, and I said, you know what, I'm going to have the right to educate myself. As a parent, I'm going to have the right to educate my son, who's two years old. So when Caleb gets school age, I have that right to educate him. No state, no authority is going to take away that right. So I spent my entire life educating myself after having leaving the public school system and obtained my GED on my 16th birthday. So with that, I'm simply going to say to you that if you believe the latest stories of last week or revelations that, that shock Okaloosa County, it's just a pattern in history that has continued in this county for a long time. It's going to continue, and there are some other major shoes that are going to be dropping at some point in time. From the sheriff's standpoint, if anyone recalls what Thomas Jefferson said, great quote, and it's very simple, that when the people fear the government, you have a tyranny. When the, pe when the government fears the people, you have liberty. Amy's got a little something she's going to pass out. Does anybody know that your sheriff of Okaloosa County just instituted a policy where every single employee in the sheriff's department is now mandated in a violation of their constitutional rights, <coughs> granted by Florida and granted by the U.S. Constitution, that they no longer will hire anyone, and if they are hired and don't move to Okaloosa County, they're terminated. Since when does any governmental agency have the right to tell you where in the hell you live and where you work? If you work for the Okaloosa Sheriff's Department and you want to live in Walton County or in Santa Rosa County or in Escambia County <coughs> or across the Alabama line, and commute into your work, it's your constitutional right to do so. But your sheriff, the tyrant that he is, decided, no, not going to have that. So you, the voters, may not know that. But I'm going to ask you to look into this. But there's the memo from the Personnel Human Resources Department letting everybody know that if you're already employed in our circle, in our group, no problem. You're still going to be grandfathered in. But if you're a new hiree, you've got to live here in Okaloosa County. I'm going to open up the floor for questions. And I am open to any question that you have. Please, just ma'am. Are you advocating that people not live in this area? They didn't say elected in this area? No, ma'am, not elected. These are employees. Elected officials have to represent the people that elect them. They have to live here. These are employees. You're, you're deputy. You can't have a deputy that wants to live one block across the line in Santa Rosa County. Or, or Walton County, or across the Alabama line, according to this memo that is sent out in the policy by your current sheriff. Anyone else? On August 14th, you're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice to hire another tyrant. You're going to have a choice to hire somebody who also took $21,000 in bonuses. It was a part of the scandal that went down. Sheriff Ashley. You have that choice. You have another choice of electing someone that's a very honorable man like Mr. Taylor or Mr. Mitchell. Or you have a choice of electing somebody like me sure. who fears nobody but God Almighty. They may can steal my body, but they'll never steal my soul. And so I'm asking for your vote to go back to what our Constitution declares, and that is that your police and military be subordinate to <coughs> elect a civilian, elect somebody who's been an instructor of ethics and professional standards. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.